Hey guys, it's Jersey Clay 101, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this little kawaii bottle cap magnet. And, you know, I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. It really sticks to stuff, like here on another magnet. That's not working, um, as of now. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to make this. So, anyway, for this tutorial, you guys are going to need a bottle cap. And you can just get these, like, off the little bottles. I don't know really what else to say about that. You can buy them on eBay. And I just colored this over with a Sharpie marker. You guys can dip it in paint or whatever you want. If you want to, you can always leave it alone if you want. You're going to need um, some magnet or magnet strips. And I'm going to show you how to make these magnet strips into smaller magnets. You are going to need some Mod Podge. You are going to need some kind of glue. You should probably use crazy glue or E6000 or whatever it's called. But this is all I have and it works just fine. You are going to need some sticker flakes or some stickers or just something to put in your bottle cap. You're going to need a paintbrush. Um, I just use this old one because it might get ruined. And then you might, um, I mean, you are going to want some scissors or a hole puncher. And optional would be, um, a Q-tip and something to sterilize it with. Just because there's, like, there's been alcohol in it and stuff. Well, at least in mine, because I get mine from, um, the beer tabs, because we just had a party. Um, and I'm using this rubbing alcohol to sterilize it with the Q-tip, so you guys can do that if you want. So let's get right into this tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your um, bottle cap, and this is the wrong bottle cap, and you're going to sterilize it, which you can just do the con swab, and I already did that. So now you want to take your magnetic strip, and I got mine at Walmart, and you just want to cut it. Just like that, so you're going to have this little piece, and I'm going to pull off the little adhesive part. One second. But I really don't trust these adhesives to stay on, so I'm going to take some school glue, or any glue you want. You probably should use super glue, I'm just not using it. And I'm going to put some on the back of this. And you want to just put that on there like that. So then you want to let that dry for, I would say, like 20 minutes, depending on the type of glue you're using. And then it should look like this, and the magnet should be in place. So then you want to take your cardstock or something, and you want to cut out a circle that will fit the inside of your cap. And I would say the average size for a cap is 1 inch in diameter. So if you guys want to get a round hole puncher that is one inch to get a straighter cut, um, I would recommend that, but I don't have one, so I just cut this one out from, from a playing card, actually. So I'm just going to take more glue or Mod Podge or whatever it is that you are using. And no wonder no glue is coming out. It's closed. Um... So, on that note, you're just going to squeeze out glue. That was a lot of glue. And you're just going to just spread it out. So, it's just like, it's everywhere. And then you want to take this. And you want to just put it in there. And then you're going to let that dry. So... While that's drying, you can take a look at your sticker flakes or whatever you want. And you're going to pick one that you want to use. I'm going to use this one today. And this one's already dried. And you want to make sure that your sticker flake slash image fits inside of the bottle cap that you're using. And mine fits in just fine. So what you're going to do now is you are going to just take that out. And this kind of has two layers, but you don't wait for one layer to dry. So, you're just going to put some Mod Podge down here. I mean, 
You could use glue, but I don't recommend it just because of the fact that it gets, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it gets kind of foggy once it's dry. Now, you're going to do two or one layers. I'm just doing one layer. But after you get the glue down, you're going to put your sticker flake in there. And you just want to kind of brush over the glue it or Mod Podge or whatever you're using. I'm just going to get a bit more. And don't worry if you can't see it because this is going to dry absolutely crystal clear. Once you're done. So I would say to let that dry overnight just to make sure that it is dry. So yeah, so once that's all dry, you should get something like this. Um, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a good rest of the day. Bye guys!